Hey YouTube, this is Dre, and I just got a new mic, so I hope this is better quality. Yes, it actually is. I actually tested this out already, so here's the tutorial. Well, not the tutorial. It's just a helpful guide for some people that have are lost and don't know what to do. Okay, well, like, let's get started. Um, Skype, they actually updated it, and um, now it's 5.3 with a bunch of other numbers after that. And the main problem, if you have Windows 7, 64-bit, um, it crashes on you every time you open it up. So I'll give you an example. Every single time. And you can't really do anything because it's just, see, Skype has stopped working. It's checking for a solution. It can't find anything, so you have to close the program. And it just goes away. So you have to try it again. And so it doesn't work. So what you could do is downgrade it back to 5.1 or 5. Point whatever it was. Um, see, it does it again. Or you could do it this way. It's it's actually and you still get the update, so it's actually not pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It's not. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, go to property. You right click it. Properties. I would recommend put this on your desktop if you don't have it already. Okay, when it comes up with this, it'll probably come up with this. But go to compatibility tab. Compatibility tab. And where it says compatibility mode, it says run this program in compatibility mode for whatever computer you have. Well, Windows 7. Just uncheck mark this, apply, and okay. And now you start it up, and it should work pretty. F should work fine. There's um, I'm not sure if this is part of the update, but the icons are a little they're changed. I'm not sure if they're purposely done that, but um, that's what you do. And then if they update this again where it works, you can check a check it back, and um. You check that box back, and then maybe it will be better. I don't know, but yeah, it's actually kind of cooler because you can have um, you can just click those way offline, do not disturb from there. So that's kind of cool, and that's how you get on Skype without downgrading it, and with the new update, and with the new updates too. So thank you for watching. Hopefully that helps a lot of people if with your problems, and see ya next time.